Now, here is what you can do if your iPhone's photo widget says that there are no photos available. Let's cover that. So if you added the widget of your photos, there are some options, right? As you can see, in my case, it even tells me that there are no photos available. And the reason is that I have set it up the wrong way. Because if I go and click on edit, add a new widget, and I just select photos, I really just have six options, like two types of um, the widgets in three different sizes. So at first we have the featured, which means that the photos will be randomly selected from your gallery, some special moments through memories and featured photos, right? So it is going to be listed right there. Or there is the album photo where you specifically pick an album, which is going to be shown on the home screen. And what happened in my case was that when I added the featured widget, it just showed me or told me that there aren't any photos, which would be like moments worth sharing or showing, right? My, just, my gallery isn't full of these photos on this phone and therefore it didn't show anything. So what I need to do instead is to add the other type of widget, which includes the album and then specifically select the album from my gallery and add the photos which I should want to show up on the home screen. So this gives me much more control. It's not just the randomly selected photo, but yeah, I specifically decided that this is gonna be the one which is shown. And this is actually the type of widget which I recommend to get for the majority of people. So again, you can find the album section in your photos, create a brand new one, name it whatever you want and add the photos there. Then on the widget, choose the album one and select the album which you just created to make the photos appear right there. So that's how we can fix this issue. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to do it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'm gonna catch you later.